In this video, I will explain to you the evolution of transport system. In earlier part of the human life, there were no means of communication or sorry, no means of transportation. So first, let us understand what do you mean by transport system. Now, a human being to move from one place, let's say called place A, to another place called place B, can use various means. If these two places are close, you can walk. If it's a bit farther, You can use a bicycle or a motorcycle, motorbike. If it's too far, you can use a car, train. Now, if suppose you know you have to travel by sea or water, you can use a ship. And for long distances, for too far, you also have aeroplanes. So all these are basically your modes of transport. And what does transport mean? Transportation means movement from one place to the other through the one of these means. Now originally in when the human civilization was evolving there were no means of transport. Okay? So the person if he had to move from one place to the other was dependent only on his feet. So if suppose I have to go from one place to the other, the only option I have is to travel by my feet. So I would walk down. Okay? Then as civilization grew, people learned how to make boats. But boats were only used for traveling in water. Initially, the boat started with very raw form. It was not something like this, what you have today. It used to be pieces of wood which were tied together with the help of ropes and then people used to use certain other wooden pieces to travel by sea. Okay, so people used to sit on these boats and they used to travel through water. As civilization grew, people understood how, you know, you can kind of form a wheel. And as wheel was formed, it took hundreds and hundreds of years from the time when initial wheel was formed to the wheels that you see today. Now these wheels which were there, they were initially used in the bullock carts or manual labor, meaning that man used to make these and kind of travel from one place to the other okay until and unless steam was formed so what people did was that steam was used to power various objects which could run so you had steam engine okay through which railways basically came into picture. There were railway wagons and all which were formed and this was somewhere around the beginning of the 19th century. So imagine if you were to born 200 years ago or maybe 220 years ago you wouldn't have any means of conveyance. The cars, the buses and the aeroplanes that you see today 
were not there anymore. Then, as the civilization grew further, there were automobiles which were formed. By automobile, you mean bus, cars, etc. Okay? And then finally came the 1900 year and thereafter, when man formed an aeroplane. With movement of time and growth, aeroplanes have started carrying passengers, a large number of passengers. Initially, when this was formed, you wouldn't have had much. But today, there are planes which can carry hundreds of passengers. Then, you have goods plane as well, something which are used by some of the bigger courier companies in the world. So, this was basically the life cycle, as you may call, of transport from walking to formation of boats to formation of wheel we saw evolution then steam engines were formed then automobiles were developed and finally the air transport so all these basically were meant for transporting people from one place to the other and rather it's something which is said to be for facilitating the movement of people and resources from 